Teddy Wayne Gibson here, professional Sasquatch hunter. We got a phone call from a from a landowner. <coughs> Said he needed some help. That his land was overrun with Sasquatches. You know they get in there tearing up your crops, your corn, your wheat, your barley, your, t your timber. They mucking it up, scaring off your deer and whatnot. You know that ain't good. So he gives us a little call, enlisted the services of Teddy Wayne Gibson, professional Sasquatch hunter. As always, I got my sidekick with me, Skinny Pimp, and uh, behind the camera as usual, we got day three. Day right? three, baby. We're gonna get in there, we're gonna show you guys how you uh, get on a Sasquatch trail, how you catch your Sasquatch, how you gonna relo relocate them. It's gonna be a hoot and a holler. Let's go. <coughs> so standard issue for any Sasquatch hunter out there, you're gonna need you a big old bag of guns and assorted weaponry. Skinny Pimp, you gonna caddy for me today. I want a gun or something like that. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, I ain't gonna send you in there naked, boy. Come on. Come on with it. I got something for you. This right here, skinny pimp, this sucker's gonna keep you safer than shit. That's on time. I'll tell you what, Sasquatches, them suckers are uh, masters of disguise. Suckers are sneaky as hell. So I'm telling you, man, they, they will kick the shit out of you quicker than a Taiwanese horse. So what we're gonna do to tell us apart is we're gonna use a wristband. Hands while we're at. Get your feet together, man. Come on. Stairs. And uh, we're gonna use these wristbands to tell each other apart now. So we're gonna get that on there. Thank you, there you Teddy. Go. There you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep you safe now. And uh, oh man, I'm good. Look at that. I got blue wrong. I don't wear that red stuff, man. Red for cancer. Yeah. Teddy, don't you think you're a little overdressed for hunting a Sasquatch? Overdressed? Son, would you take a look at your ass? I don't, I don't know. Boy, you look like. Son, you look like you about to play grab ass with a damn Sasquatch out there. Hell, that ain't even count as a damn shirt. Don't get. At the minute the shell station can't legally kick me out, it counts as a shirt. Yeah, that motherfucker don't know what he's talking about. Would you look at you, goddamn? You look like a dude grabbing children at Disneyland. Hell, I look good, man. What the hell are you talking about? Y'all ain't ready to kill no squats. All right, we'll see y'all in the woods. All right, well, we're suited up. Got the big old bag of weapons. We'll see if we can't sneak up on a squatch out here. It's hunting time, y'all. <laughs> See if we can't scare us up a squanch. Yeah, I tell you what now, one of the most important keys to squatch hunting is being preparedness. Preparedness involves you got your camouflage, you got your big old bag of guns, you got your orange, gotta stay safe. That's it right there. Little known factoid. They sell uh squanch grunches. Squint, 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 grunt at the damn Walmart. We're gonna get off in here, see if we can't rattle a little bit, see if we can uh, throw a little grunt, maybe a little bleep, see if we can catch something. Still got that Sasquatch call. Y'all hold on right here. Y'all hold on. I tell you what, right here's a good spot right here. I, I can feel it. You can it in the bones when you can scratch as long as I have. You can feel it. <laughs> Is 
Some bitch, I heard him. I heard that some bitch. Heard him. He's down yonder. Uh, I tell you what, Skinny, how about me and you, we split up, you go on down yonder, see if you can't scare something up out of that bush. Alright, come on with it. I'll get over here, bed it down, see if I can't put on a good shot on it. Why don't you hand me the driver, son? Oh, you want the long gun? You hand me the driver, son. Oh, I want the long gun. We, about uh, to we get ain't fooling around out here now. We gonna relook at you some bitches. Hand me the long gun. I want that long Give gun. Give me that driver. Come on now. There it is, boy. Yee, yee, yee. I'm gonna head up this way. All right, boy. I'll see you on the other side. You want me up this way, Skinny? Come on. <coughs> God damn it, that's some bitch right there. That's a goddamn squatch right there. That's the biggest damn squatch here. Seen it all my life. That's him right there. Hey, Teddy. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Shut the hell up. Oh, oh God. They don't got me. Oh, God. You don't got skinny. You don't got skinny. Oh, God. Damn, what the hell is you doing out here? Oh, God. I told you to get up in that bush, scare me. Damn. Damn. We got to get him to a hospital. This is why you wear the wristband, god damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got to go to a hospital, Teddy. Oh, you shut your damn mouth up. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. You'll be I don't fine. know. We should, you know, maybe we should call him. He said I'd be fine, god damn it. <laughs> Put it on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, forgive me for all my sins. Skip. Come on, Teddy. Get me on out of here. <laughs> Put a bandage on me. We should call him, doctor. I see the light. I see the light. Oh, oh hell, that's just a flesh wound. Well, y'all, that concludes another episode of Teddy Wayne Gibson's Professional Sasquatch Hunter. And on the books, that makes it number 52. If any of y'all need any Sasquatches dealt with, you just go ahead and give me a little ring-a-ding-ding, leave a message with Paul over there at the store. Nah.